my YouTube channel. Let's start with new video today. I'm going to tell you about a very important questions. Few days ago, we had first terminal examination, and in that examination, there was some very important question which we must know. Everyone must know that how to give correct answer and how to solve them. But before talking about these important questions, subscribe my channel. Vibrating D Himta. Like. share and comment dear student the question i'm talking about is really very important i'm talking about unseen passage i'm talking about reading unseen comprehension although i have already told you that there are some important steps which we should follow while comprehending and while solving this question this question is not a part of our syllabus still it is really very important and it play an integral part not only in our academic examination but also in our competitive examination because of which it becomes very important to us because any board any institution any commission want to know that how good we are in putting so many information in order in form of answer dear student first of all you have to understand the central idea of this passage and after understanding the central idea right you will be able to give the answers so same will be here in this questions i have taken this question from the 11th class and here i will read out the question first and then we will try to know that how to give the answer and know what and which can be the answer of any question see stay with me till the end of this video educational planning should aim at meeting the educational needs of the entire population of all the age groups while the traditional structure of education as a three layer hierarchy from the primary stage to the university represent the core we should not overlook the periphery which is equally important under modern conditions workers need to reinvent or renew their enthusiasm or strike out in a new direction or improve their skills as much as any university professors the retired and the aged have their needs as well educational planning in other words should take care of the needs of everyone para number 2 our structures of education have been built up on the assumptions that there is a terminal point to education okay terminal point to education this basic defect has become all the more harmful today a unesco report entitled learning to be prepared by adgar fuer and others in 1973 asserts that the education of children must prepare the future adult for various form of self learning a viable education system of the future should consist of modules with different kinds of functions serving a diversity of constituents and performance not the period of study should be the basis for credentials the writing is already on the wall the writing is already on the wall here means the signs of change are already visible somewhere next paragraph let us know that in view of the fact that the significance of a commitment of life long learning and life long education is being discussed only on recent years even in educationally advanced countries the possibility of the idea becoming an integral part of educational thinking seems to be a far cry for to more in that direction means much more than some simple rearrangement to the present organization of education but a good beginning can be made by developing open university programs for older learners of different categories and introducing extension services in the conventional colleges and schools also these institutions should learn to cooperate with the numerous community organizations such as libraries museums municipal recreational programs healthy services etc dear student this was your passage i hope you understood that what is there in these three paragraphs 
Now move to the questions. Here first question is that according to the author, educational planning should attempt to decide a terminal point to education, train the people at the core, fulfill the education needs of the everyone, encourage conventional schools and colleges. So what can be the answer of this question? Yes, yes, student, fulfill the educational need of everyone is the correct answer here. Next one is that according to the author, the concept of lifetime education is okay according to the author the concept of lifetime education is not practical not desirable in vogue in advanced countries still in formative stage dear student answer of this question is little bit confusing we can say that it is still in formative stage or we can say that it is not practical or desirable all right next one is that according to the passage the present education structure assume which of the following education is a one-time process all people can be educated as per their needs discussions on lifelong learning should continue for some more time present education planning is very much practical which can be the answer yes education is a one-time process even you can take all people can be educated as per their need next one is that in the context of the passage what is the meaning of the sentence the writing is already on the wall yes the signs of the change are already visible everything is uncertain nowadays it is a mysterious process you cannot change the future Yes, the right answer is the signs of change are already visible. Now, the word in the above passage having the same meaning as the word overlook is. What can be? Yes, this is oversee, which you can find in the parent number one. Dear student, this is not enough here. There are some more questions which we must discuss along with these questions. See, what is the main thrust of the author there is no substitute for the extent system of education formal education is more important than non-formal one should never cease to learn it is impossible to meet the needs of everyone so answer this question will be that there is no substitute for the extent system of education second one is here which of the following best describes the purpose of the author to criticize the present educational system to strengthen the present educational practices to support non-conventional education organizations or to present a pragmatic point of view answer for this question is here to present a pragmatic point of view what should be the major characteristics of the future educational system different modules with same function same modules for different groups rearrangement of various courses contents or none of these so answer to this question is none of these which of the following is not true in the context of the passage learning to be depends that there is a terminal point to education lifelong learning is a recent concept school and colleges should open extension services workers knowledge and skills also need to be updated constantly or none of these answer of this question is that learning to be depends that there is a terminal point to education according to the author what should be the basis for awarding credentials duration of the course diversity of the topics covered participation in community activities real grasp of matter or skill or competence of the course teachers so answer of this questions will be real grasp of matter or skill end of this sections there are two very important words whose similar word we can find in the passage first one is here credentials credentials similar word we can find in the para number 2 identifications next one is integral integral means fundamental 
this fundamental board we can find in the para number 3 that's it dear student that was your passes hope you understood see you soon in the next video in which we will discuss about note making till then stay safe stay healthy